A very important part of any bolted joint is the material that's clamped within the bolt. And here we can define up to 10 layers of many from a, a materials database here. We can set its thickness because any of these blue cells are of course input cells. And we will calculate a bearing stress and we'll also read from the database an approximate limit. So we can see that because we've used a very hard alloy steel washer, which is a very wise thing to use in a bolted joint, we can see that our demand to capacity ratio is 21%. That's 330 divided by 1600. So we're well within uh, our bearing stress allowables there. We then define uh, two pieces of mild steel that are clamped and this is to represent the washer uh, on the other side of the joint and it gives us our total clamped length. The reason that clamped material is so important it's because the amount of material you're compressing is working just as much, in fact even more generally, than the material in the bolt. And it's the relative stiffness of the material you're compressing and the stiffness of the bolt that determines how a load applied to a joint will be distributed. So in fact we have a calculation here and we're looking at this uh, angle of diffusion or dispersion of the compression zone through the clamp material and we're calculating its stiffness and comparing it to the stiffness of our bolt. Now we work out a stiffness factor then uh, in this case we can either uh, use the program calculated value which is determined by calculation or we could set it to a user defined value which might have come from a test and that's how we set that value there but we have a stiffness factor here of 0.168 now this means that for every thousand newtons that you apply to the joint the bolt compression the, the bolt tension increases by 168 newtons, 0.168 of a thousand, and the clamp compression is reduced by 832. Now that's very important because we're applying a thousand newtons to this joint and only a little bit of it is being picked up by the bolt. And in fact most of the work is being done by the compressed materials that are being released from their compression. Now just at the bottom of the table here, just a brief word about user defined materials. Most of the materials in the database are fine but you can actually uh, select uh, a user defined material if you can't find your particular material here and you would give me the characteristics of the material using these cells at the bottom.